everyone. This is Mrs. Martinez with Martinez Art Lab. Today we are going to draw a self-portrait in Google Drawing. So first thing we're going to do is open a document in Google Drawing. We can do that in our Google Drive. Once we have our document open, the first thing we'll do is double click on Untitled Drawing and type self-portrait. And then we'll type our full name and then kind of click off to the side. So now our document is saved. Everything we do from this point on is going to save. If I'm looking for this document to turn it in or to continue working on it, I can find it in my Google Drive by searching this title. So the very first thing we're going to do is add a background to our drawing. So I'm going to click on Shape and Shapes and click on the square. Um, or the rectangle rather. I'm going to left click in the upper corner and drag it down and then release my click and I've just created a background. So now I'm going to pick the color I want for my background. Um, I will pick a nice um, purple. That's the color I'm going to use and I'll just kind of click off to the side. So this is the background of my Google drawing and this is what I'm going to work with now. So Right here, I've got a line tool. If I click this arrow and click a drop down or a drop down menu, will show. And I'm going to click on curve because what I want to draw is the letter U to start my face. And actually, I will click on scribble. I'm going to use the scribble type line. And this is exactly how it sounds. When I left click, I'm going to drag out the U shaped line I want. And then I'll be able to get started. Um, with the rest of my face. So I'm going to left click and drag my U shape and this is the start of my face. Um, I'm going to go to line weight after every time I draw a line. I'm going to change my line weight from 1 to 3 and just make it a little thicker so it's easier to see. If I wanted it to a 12 um, I could do that as well. It would be um, pretty bold. Okay, I'm going to take it back. Let's try four. Four is pretty good. So we'll leave my four. Um, that's our line weight. I've got the U shape of my face drawn. It is not perfect. It does not have to be perfect. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is draw two lines for my neck. I'm going to draw two lines for my neck. And I want to make sure I don't have a itty bitty skinny neck. I want to make it look like a realistic neck here. Click off to the side so I can see my necklines. Then I'm going to draw my, every time I go back to draw, I click on my scribble line to make sure I've got it. I'm going to draw um, a C for my first ear and then a backward C for my second ear. Again, they're not perfect. I'm okay with that. Um, when we're learning how to draw in Google Drawing, uh, it can be tricky and um, it's good to practice and get used to it. Um, if I do something I don't like, like, let's say I didn't want this ear, I can just click my back arrow, it'll take it away. If I accidentally take something away, I can click my redo arrow, it'll bring it right back up. I did forget to make these lines thicker, so my select tool is this black arrow. And when I click on any um, line that I've drawn, I can go back to my line weight and take that to a, a weight of four. Then I'm going to click on this and do the same thing. Weight that at four and I just kind of click to the side so you can see it. Um, next I'm going to draw my shoulders and my shoulders again I'm going to use my scribble line and I'm just going to draw um, my shoulders right there. Not perfect. I'm okay with that. Um, and I'm going to make my line weight and take it to an eight. I can make that a little bit thicker or take it back to a four. And the best thing about line drawing in Google Drawing is that I can just move this. So when I click on my move tool and I select this line, I can move it down just a little so that my um, neck doesn't kind of go over my shirt. Okay, and now next I'm gonna draw my hair. So I'm back on my scribble tool. Uh, I'm gonna draw my hair and just kind of start adding some waves. So that's my hairline. And I'm gonna have some wavy hair. And I can add some more. 
waves and lines. I'm just adding lines here. I'm actually going to keep my wavy hair a different weight of lines. So when I say that, I mean my lines are going to be thinner because I like the way it shows a different texture. So all I'm doing is kind of scribbling lines on here to show this wavy curly hair. And then I can add some lines in here because again, it's showing a great texture in my hair. We don't want empty hair at the top, so I've got to add my texture in. I've added it in. And there we go. So my hair is looking pretty good. I could add a lot more texture here and spend some more time on that. But I will leave it be for now. And I'm going to go ahead and go in. And I'm going to draw with my scribble line. I'm going to draw eye shapes. Before I do that, let's see if there's a shape I might want to use. There is not. So I'm going to use my scribble line. And I'm going to, my eyes are going to line up with my ears. And I'm going to draw a lemon shape for my eyes. And then I'm going to draw my next eye. And do the same thing, kind of a lemon shape. Okay, my eyes aren't perfect right now. Again, I'm okay with that. I want my line weight to a four. I want my line weight to a four. Okay, now... Right now my eyes are pretty empty, right? I need to get some pupils in there. So I will use the shapes. I'll use my circle shape to get my pupils in there. And then I'll move it over. And I can add the color of my pupil. So I will make it, um, uh, let's see. Let's make it a dark, dark blue, okay? And then, I'll do the same thing over here on the other eye. Make this eye a dark, dark blue. I could absolutely draw this in as well. Um, but now I also need the center of my eye, my pupil. So, and we know that that is black. So I will put that in. And then we will fill that in with black. And then I will do the same thing over here. Fill that in with black. And what am I missing on my face right now? That is right. I am missing my nose and my mouth. Uh, my eyes are different shapes here. So let's see if I can get them to match a little bit more. That's a little bit better. Um, and I'm also missing my eyebrows. So let's go back to that line tool. And we're going to make that a much thicker line because those are my eyebrows. And then... Got a thicker line there. And then let's do my nose. And when I draw a nose, I like to have two straight lines. And then I can add my nostrils in at the bottom. I can make those lines a lot thinner if I'd like to. Um, and I think I'm going to. So I'm going to click on my line with my select tool. Um, the great part of using this video is that you can always stop it. You can rewind it. You can go back and repeat something if you need to see it again. Um, so this video is a great tool for you while you're working on your project. Click back on the scribble tool and I'm going to draw a mouth, a nice big smiley face, uh, and I will make that um, a little bit thicker in line. I also want to move that down. So I'll use my select tool and move my smile down just a little bit. And then um, now I can go in and add some more details. So if I wanted to add glasses or earrings or a necklace, um, anything I want to do there, I can do that now. Um, have fun making your self-portrait and um, make sure that you add all of the things that tell us who you are.